really we're living in this in a period where vegetables are are kind of taking the foreground all of a sudden the shift moves a little bit from fish and meat that we're so used to and everybody has got this real interest in vegetables and i mean vegetables in the broad sense grains legumes everything that we've got around us i should imagine it'd be quite minty no it is it's nice we're here under a railway arch sometimes the train goes by and um, and this is my, my little test kitchen kingdom. This is where all the experiments are taking place. And it, it really represents my, my daily work as a, as a recipe writer. In the past, I used to try all the recipes at home on my own, but over the years with growth, I needed a bit more space. And now we've got a little team here which gets together every day and really we try recipes, you know, brainstorm constantly until we come with the right creations. It's really lovely. Eight years ago when I uh, was approached by The Guardian to write a column for them, I felt slightly apprehensive about it. It's pretty difficult to come up with a vegetarian recipe every week. And um, as the years go by, I find the challenge not at all daunting as I thought at the beginning. I think it's just the fact that so many cuisines to use as an inspiration, so many ingredients around us from all over the world. And this is how I thrive. This is how I come up with all my recipes. I started off with a very Middle Eastern pattern using ingredients that are very typical to Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, etc. Uh, tahini, lemon, garlic, cumin, all those kind of flavors. Over the years I feel that I've expanded my horizon and move metaphorically east uh, towards Iranian food, Indian food and then Asian food and all those ingredients I feel are almost synonymous to Middle Eastern ingredients and work very well for me and are now incorporated even more into this particular book, Plenty More. I like tweeting and uh, I often tweet in the middle of, uh, of cooking or trying a dish. Uh, it's a wonderful interaction, a new kind of interaction. Quite often actually shapes the way a dish uh, may look at the end. Okay. Yum. Not salt then. <laughs> Writing a recipe is not like, you know, cooking it in your home kitchen. It's a very laborious, rigorous process that happens. We take it extremely seriously. We try every recipe quite a few times. We mm. indulge ourselves in testing and retesting and retesting until it is perfection. In Plenty More and also obviously in other contexts, I try to use ingredients that really punch their weight, that like have a huge impact even though you use might use a small quantity. All those ingredients bring in a lot of flavor with very little effort.